Okay, just finished doing a brake job. I'm in my wheel well here, and while I'm in here, I'm going to remedy a little problem I've been having with a irritating rattle. Difficult to find, but I finally found the source of the issue. I've got a little uh, sway bar here. Links over to this side from the other side. And I've got a little link arm here that uh, connects to the base of the uh, the <coughs> wheel and the sway bar. And this is wobbling back and forth. It's got way too much give. So when the pressure of the car hits a couple of bumps here and there, you hear a rattle. Um, so we're going to get rid of this today. We've got a new link arm here, which I got from my local de dealership for about $20. And this is what it looks like brand new. What I'm using is a socket. Where did it go? Anyway, it's a 14 millimeter socket. Uh, kind of a tight space in there. Oh, there we go. My socket is actually in the midst of loosening the nut there. So I'm going to take this off and come back to you guys, let you see what it looks like while it's off. Uh, basically put the other one on just as you take the uh, old one off. Uh, tighten up your nuts and uh, and there you go. You got you a new link arm and one less, one less rattle coming from the front of your car. It's pretty darn annoying and loud. So uh, better check these out when you're in there messing with your brakes or um, rotating your tires. One thing I do want to point out is you're going to need an Allen wrench. You can see there is a fitted area right here. As you're taking that bolt off, you're going to need an Allen wrench to hold your um, a threaded post in place. Got me a wrench right here. Not sure what size it is. They usually come in a set. So get you a set. You'll find the right size. There's our link arm. Uh, this thing is utter hell. So I've got my two wrenches on there, one on the end, and I've got my <coughs> offset wrench, my 14 millimeter right there. Uh, I've been working on this thing for the past 45 minutes. I got the back side finally. Now I'm working on that one. Uh, this this front side, which would be much, much easier. Okay. A little blood, sweat, and tears. And an hour later, and I've got the new link arm in place. Absolutely no give. There or there. At least by hand. Um, it's supposed to... It's got bearings on either end of the linkage, and it's supposed to move a little bit, but by the weight of the car not by the tug of your hand. So um, that will get rid of my rattle and help my uh, car's stability up front just a little bit more. So there we go. There is my sway bar link arm replacement DIY. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.